Welcome back everybody to N90X and the NetApp series. In this episode I want to show you how to configure SIFs. So before we get started I want to just re remind you that if you want to establish SIFs you need to have already created an aggregate and a volume. With SIFs you're going to create a share to one of your volumes. So in previous videos I showed you how to create an aggregate, how to create a volume, and once you've done that you can go ahead and create enable SIFs. First thing you want to do is get into your NetApp graphical user interface and click on SIFs. If you click on configure under SIFs, you can run the setup wizard. And first thing you can do is just go ahead and click next. And here you can give a name. Here's the name of my filer, it's simulator 10. I can then give another name for the share which I'll call it NA1 for NetApp 1. If you have any Win servers, you can add them here. I don't have any, so I'm going to click Next. Now I'm going to use uh, NT local user uh, as the authentication. And my workgroup name is workgroup, but if you happen to be using a different workgroup, you can put that information here. Click Next. And security style, multi protocol. If you have both NFS, or network file share and SIFs, you can click on multi protocol and allow both protocols to access the share. If you have only SIFs licensed, you need to click on NTFS only. Since this is a SIFs demo, I'll just click on NTFS only. Click next. And here is all of my settings. I click commit, commit on the Net NetApp. And there we're done. That was in real time. Close this. So SIFS is now running. So the next thing you want to do is add a share. So by clicking on shares and add, you can create a share name. I'll call it Joe Stuff and a mount point. Remember you created a volume earlier. You then need to point to that volume. It was volume one that I created and a share description. I'll call it Joe Stuff again. You can define maximum number of users and force a Unix group if you want here. Uh, I don't have that so I don't need that. I click add and Joe's stuff was created, the share. Uh, if I want to check on reports, I can see now that Joe's stuff uh, created as a share against volume one and everybody has access to it. So let's see what happens if, if I'm on a Windows XP machine I want to connect to the share. What you'll do is start menu, my network places, and here it is, Joe Stuff on the Simulator 10. And as you can see, I have access to it. There's one file already in the share. If I'm on a Macintosh, for instance, as I am here, uh, I see the simulator here. And I need to connect as. And let me try connecting as a guest. Guest access is not enabled. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. I have a registered administrator account, and that gives me access to Joe's stuff. And here's the file that we saw earlier uh, on the Windows from the Windows machine. If you want to activate the guest account, get back into the filer, go into SIFs. Configure and security. And here's where you configure the guest account. Nobody seems to be working. Click on nobody, click apply, and we should be done with that. Now, if I go back to my Mac and I disconnect and then try to reconnect, I can connect as connect as a guest. And see that connected as guest, I now have access to that same share. Well that's about as easy as it gets and I hope you're seeing a trend here that when using the NetApp products it's really that simple, that straightforward and that robust to simply create anything that you need, your aggregates, your volumes, SIF shares and please stay with us for additional videos. 
and we'll show you some additional features. From all of us at Altercom and N90X, thank you for watching, and we hope to see you on the next video.